All right, what's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna review, um, review the Hornady Precision Lab Scale. This is a new item for Hornady. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. The quality of it's really good. It's got a couple different settings, really cool. It has a way to hook up to your laptop so you can put whatever you want in a spreadsheet for the data. Um, and so far it's been really accurate. Uh, they, Hornady, let's see here. It comes with the windscreen, which is really nice. You can move these windows back and forth. The top comes off. The whole thing comes off. But when it's in the sensitive mode, it doesn't really like it because, you know, you're getting interference with the wind. Um, comes with two check weights, a 10 and a 50 grain check weight. They come in these things here. Pretty nice. Um, comes with your normal uh, power adapter and then also comes with a European style adapter if you need it. Um, actually, not European, but basically a, a nine volt, I guess, supply adapter. Uh, oh, so I say it does say Euro plug adapter. So I guess that's what it's called. Um, here we got you know uh, the manual here where it talks about everything right here. It comes with a powder a powder tray. Uh, let's see here, you know the weight limit three thousand grains here. Uh, prox, you know, your accuracy for the load sale is plus or minus 0 0.04 grains, which is really good. Um, which also talks, you know, they got all kinds of stuff in here, how to use it. Your off and on button, this one right here, is pretty nice because you man, you have to hold it down to turn it off and turn it on, so you're not accidentally going to do that. Um, I've already got the scale. Um, it's been on for about 20 minutes. Um, to calibrate here, you know, it tells you to hold for three seconds and calibrate. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So we're just basically going to remove the top one screen here. And we'll push this one to the side. And we are going to hold for three seconds, right? One, two, three. Okay, calibrate. Three seconds. As you can see, it says it's flashing calibrate. It's telling us to put the 10 on. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and Take that whole thing off just so it makes it easier to grab. Put the tent on. So I'm trying to keep the light reflective off here. There we go. Tent's calibrated. Now it's telling us to do the 50. And 50 is calibrated, just like that. Really easy to calibrate the scale. What I really like about it is the availability to remove that windscreen if you want, right? Um, that's really nice. They also have, let's see here, we can go over it real quick. A couple different modes. You know, so let's see here. There we go, we'll zoom in a little bit. Mode, you got grain, uh, grams, and ounces. Um, you can hold. So basically, to go go through that method, you go hold mode, settings. Oh, that's compare. Oops, my bad. Hold mode. There we go. Grain or grams, grain, and ounces. Okay. So that's how you do that. Real easy. There's a really cool print method here. So basically, it comes with this cord. Plugs in the back, then plugs your laptop. Any spreadsheet that you want, you can use. Um, I prefer Excel, so that's it works really nice. Um, you can so basically, if we wanted to, we can basically record all our data. So we're gonna weigh this bullet here. Let's turn it to grains. There we go. So it says it's at one o seven one four, right? So it says it's up. So if I hit print well p button tells you that it just put that exact number right there so if we want to do take it off p goes away we want to weigh another one 107 oh. see without the windscreen on it may vary a little bit but uh that's good so we're gonna hit print there we go. We got two of them. One else, they're basically the same. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get into a couple other features here. 
<sighs> All right. Um, sample tap two round to the last decimal place. Hold for a second. It turns the beat turns off. Okay. Um, tap to zero. So we all know how to zero a scale here. We're just gonna hit zero and it zeroes it. Right. So like for instance, I put the powder scale on. We want to measure our weight of our powder scale, our powder. So we wait for that to stabilize, the little circle to appear there, and we hit zero, okay? And if we want to factory reset it, we hit, we hit Cal plus zero and on and off, and the on and off button, it'll factory reset it. And here we just talked about the calibration. Here we've kind of talked about the mode menu a little bit where we talked about, you know, uh, where, where we talked about the grain, you know, the measuring unit style. But we've also got some different stuff in here, right? Um, the the setting menu allows you to to set the scale speed, um, so basically high and low, right? So if we go in here and we hit mode or hold mode, and I go, let's compare. Let's see here. Let's calibrate. Let's see here. How do I do this again? All right, so we hold the mode button down, hit setting, and we can control the speed here, right? Units and speed. So we're gonna hit speed, and we can control high or low, right? And this is gonna have to do with uh, the sensitivity of the scale. So if you run high um, sensitivity, you're gonna get be a lot more accurate. It just may take longer. If you run low, uh, it's not gonna, it won't be as accurate. Well, it may not be as accurate. It's just gonna be quicker. Right, and so if I hit that, that in the circle means that's what it's set to. If I want to go back to high, like I did right there, there, and we just hit, hit it, in mode. So we're back in there, right? So if we want to go to the compare feature, um, the the compare function allows you to set a normal weight along with a tolerance range, and easily compare the ac accessible range, right? So um, right now I've already got it on compare. What we'll do is is we'll go in here. We'll hold mode and then we'll go down here compare hit zero and it shows it's on right so we're hitting net weight tolerance weight high low it lets you do a few things so if we hit zero and it lets you basically pick what you want to do for it it's really neat actually so that's that's for the compare mode the percentage mode uh, percent function allows you to set a nominal weight and compare item to accessible weight. And basically that's, we're gonna go, basically to do that, you just do the exact same method, right? Go into settings and we'll go in there and you hit percent on and off. You can turn it on and that button zero mode. Now it's on. There we go, there's percentage. And you have to basically set that. Um, and we got it, the instructions to do all that are all in here. Um, it's a little more complicated um, that if I do all that, the video is going to get super long. So basically, we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm just kind of showing the features. And if we go to piece, the piece function allows you to count the number of parts in a batch off the weight of a small sample size. So basically, by doing that, we just go back in here to mode, hold mode, go back down, the piece button, which I, I really like this method, and we'll, we'll turn it on. Oops, I didn't do that right. We're gonna go back. Peace mode. On, right, so peace is right there. And so that's how you set up peace mode. Okay, so if you just wanna go back to your normal scale, you go here, grains, we'll go back to grains, right? Um, and that's how you set it up. There, the instructions in here go over it really well. And then, you know, they got step-by-step -step instructions. Um, it's actually really nice. Uh, so like here it talks about how to set it on, set the piece piece mode on. Um, outputting of the data is incredibly easy as you can see. You know you can just hit that print button and I'll put your data right to your screen, which I think is really nice. Um, the scale is built really well. Um, it's got you know a bubble level and it's got the four feet to uh, level it. Um, I, I'm super impressed with the quality of the scale. Uh, for the price point, you know, it's mid-range price point, but it's really accurate. 
it's not too big so you you know you know like as you can see like you know workbench here right doesn't take up a whole lot of room i'm just gonna put it right up there when i need it i'll grab it and it'll work just fine um now if we want to talk about kind of like the accuracy of this thing we'll go ahead and throw the um, windscreen back on so as you can see it's like it's literally this easy to take this thing on and off it's 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 very well made i i they thought about it and i really appreciate that um so we can we can kind of like check our we've got some check weights here some R rcbs check weights so we'll go ahead and zero the scale let's stabilize we're gonna open the windscreen and we're gonna grab a 20 grain check weight we're gonna see see so it shows us let's go ahead and shut the windscreen with the windscreen closed 20.03 to 20.06 that's pretty good and if so if we add you know uh, let's see here this other one we're at 40.09 um, let's see if we zero it see here okay shows zeroed and we go take it off pretty accurate to what we put on right it says we took a 20 off look at that so if we go and grab the last one and see what it says it says we took 40 off um, that's pretty impressive in my opinion it's kind of interesting it's not showing that little variance a little bit here so if we go zero it again let's try it again uh, let's try it yeah let's try it one more time and it's possible just because of the way i had it set there oops don't do that these things are always fun you don't want to touch these if you can avoid it because you can get your oils on it and change it so now we're 20.01 so we're getting a little bit of a a variance in it but uh like i said that you know you're reading to the you know so so far over that it's more than good enough it's a very accurate scale um and you know i don't know if me having my phone this close to it could change it that's possible so that's always something to consider um here we have a 10 grain check weight i'll go ahead and throw that bad boy on Let's see here so it says 9.96 we'll go ahead and take it off and try it again make sure it's zeros let's close the windscreen okay it's zeroed out put the weight check weight on there try to put it as stable as possible so consistent 9.98 so that's pretty good. Um, let's check uh, the five grain. It's a scale is zero. So 9.96, you know, and it's very well possible that these things aren't, you know, this scale may be too accurate for these, right? You know, how hard, it would be so hard to get these things exactly the same, you know, check weight, but Seems to be working pretty right. There you go. There's two exactly. And it's exactly what I just put in there. Let's see what happens when we add another two. A 3.98. I mean, that's pretty close. That's really good. Um, so, I mean, accuracy, in my opinion, it's pretty close. I mean, it's it's it, it, it's doing what it advertised to do. The scale. So, see, here we go. Now we're... A little off of zero so um the scale is really accurate um i really like it uh horny i horny i feel horny did a really good job on that i have the match the rcbs um match master also a great scale um when i compare these two like i pull the weight off of here and put it on here they're the exact same it's pretty impressive or i weigh on here and i put on there it's 
it, they're, they're the same. So Hornady did a really good job on this scale. Um, and uh, I think I think if I were to, I would say if you're looking for an accurate scale to go out and weigh your stuff at the medium price range, this would be a great option. So, um, all right, guys, if you got any questions, I'm sure I'll have some people criticizing how I did this. Um, I did it to my best ability, um, kind of working with what I got. And yeah, so um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this long and uh, make sure you like subscribe. I'll catch you later